Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Redneck Day Trader. Today's topic, the two stocks I'm going to buy if Russia invades. All right, the first one is PayPal, ticker symbol PYPL. This is a daily chart you're looking at and you can see PayPal is $100. If you back up back in the summer 2021 in July, back in July, just six, eight months ago, $300 stock sitting at a hundred. Wow. Your RSI is down to 20. That is, I think, at an all-time low on your RSI. This thing is getting ready to pop. I know, I know, I know. There's war, there's rumors of war, all this kind of bad news going on. And yeah, you may uh, get another hit, a small hit. But I'm telling you, any day now, this stock is ready to explode. The red line right here is the gap. Uh, you had a drop from, uh, that was on earnings, uh, from 170 down to 129, something like that. So you've got a huge gap to fill right there around the 170 mark. So eventually that's going to get filled. If you buy it at $100, you hold that for three months and it hits, uh, goes back and fills the gap at 170, that's 70% gain, folks. I'm telling you, remember, you want to buy when there's blood in the streets. Now, let's look at the market real quick before I go on to my next stock. Let's do a little update here. This is the daily chart. The NASDAQ broke this weekly low that we had about two or three weeks ago. Remember I told you that was capitulation, and that was your short-term bottom for a few weeks? Well, lo and behold, that was true. You ran up, I, I said you'd ran, uh, probably run up, test the 20-day moving average, and you'd either, uh, you'd have to make a decision from there, we're we gonna break out from the 20-day moving average, or we're we gonna back, go back down and test the bottom here. Well, we decided to go back and test the bottom. This is an ugly, nasty candle today. That's a solid red candle, nothing but selling pressure all day. So what I am expecting, is in the next couple of days a major news event to happen uh, to either probably more than likely push this stock down and take the second leg down on this big downtrend we've got going on or something positive. Uh, right now, everything feels pretty negative, so I'm thinking some kind of major events, maybe Russia invades Ukraine, something like that. You're going to take another leg down here, and you're getting pretty oversold too not as bad as it was a few weeks ago uh, you're sitting at 32 on the rsi looking at the dow same story you barely broke uh the low of a couple of weeks ago so i really anticipate like i said some kind of news event to come out that's usually how this stuff works uh, they come down you break the previous low and then you take another leg down and it'll usually be a catalyst and some kind of bad news or something like that Anyway, rinse and repeat, same old, same old. Uh, but anyway, the second stock that I'm going to be looking at if Russia invades, Facebook. Facebook, awesome stock. Into the metaverse, making money. I think it's like at a 13 PE ratio right now. So if you look back uh, on the 1st of February, February the 2nd, you were sitting at around... 320 bucks, you are now at $198. If you go back to the, the summer, back in July, you're sitting at almost $400, $375, something like that. So you, I think very soon your RSI is down to 22 also. That's at a historic low for Facebook. So any day now, any day now, this stock is going to pop. You're at least going to get a run to the 20-day moving average, which is sitting at 242 right now. Pretty good gain, folks. Uh, if Russia invades in the next couple of days or over the weekend, you may get an initial uh, capitulation here. Excellent time to buy. I'm think the market is baking in this attack. Uh, so, and usually how stocks work is like on the upside. People buy the rumor and then they sell on the news. 
Well, it's the same thing with uh, on the downside. They are selling uh, what they think is going to happen, and then when the news actually happens, I think you're going to get a pop up. I don't know that. Like I said, not a professional, just a redneck. That's my redneck opinion on that. But anyway, I'm going to be looking. If something happens in the news here in the next couple of days and Facebook takes another nosedive, uh, a capitulation type move, I am going to be ready to buy right here. Anyway, the RSI is down to 22. Uh, long term, I don't think you can go wrong with uh, Facebook. Are we in a bear market? I believe we're in the start of a bear market. I do. But remember, in bear market, some of your best uh, rallies come in a bear market. So when you get extremely oversold, you can have huge, huge, what I call dead cat bounce. And uh, sometimes those are the best gains that can be had. So uh, those are two stocks I'll be looking at is PayPal and Facebook. They're both good companies, both making money, and they are both extremely, extremely oversold. Tune in tomorrow for the next video, and we will see you then.